hey what's going on guys in this video we are going to see how to derive the logistic logistic growth equation okay now first uh, we are going to introduce some terms r is equal to rate and then p is equal to population population and uh, k is carrying capacity carrying capacity and this is the basic equation dp by dt is equal to rp 1 minus p over k this is the one we are going to use and uh, we can also write this one in a different way like dp by dt is equal to rp 1 minus p over k implies implies if we take uh, okay let's uh, let's write this one p is equal to k over 1 plus n e power negative rt okay this is what we want to derive this is the equation this is a logistic growth equation this is what we have to derive now here what we are going to do is we are going to use this one we are going to use this one to derive this one now here we are going to do one thing so let's uh, equate m is equal to 1 over k so let m is equal to 1 over k if i do that this is going to become dp by dt is equal to rp 1 minus instead of 1 over k we replace that one with m so mp right here now this is a separable differential equation because we can separate t terms and p terms because here we have dp and dt so we we have to see whether we can separate these p terms in one side and dt terms in the other side we don't have any t terms except this dt so it's easy to do the separation so let's go ahead and do the separation so this is going to be dp in the numerator so we have to bring all the p terms to this side p1 minus mp and if i bring this dt to the other side this is going to be r dt and uh, after we do the separation we have to integrate both side integration integration if you integrate this one with respect to p this is going to be like uh, for this one we have to do the parcel parcel fraction decomposition for this one it's easy to integrate to do the parcel fraction decomposition let's do it right here with a different color um, or let's let's do it right here 1 over p 1 minus mp we can separate this one into two terms like a over p plus b over 1 minus mp now after we do that we have to multiply this whole term both side by this uh, the denominator p times 1 minus mp 1 minus mp and this side also multiply by p times 1 minus mp so if you do that this side this one and this one cancels and in the other side we will have for the first one p cancels so we will get a times 1 minus mp and uh, for this one 1 minus mp cancels so p remains so this is going to be plus bp the whole thing is equal to 1 okay <clears throat> now we have got this one the next thing is we are going to equate p is equal to 0 we are going to say p is equal to 0 if we substitute p is equal to 0 this is going to become uh, 1 is equal to a times 1 and uh, b if p is equal to 0 this is going to be just 0 so from this one we get a is equal to 1 okay so we got a is equal to 1 if a is equal to 1 then if we substitute that one right here okay let's uh, let me double check so a is equal to 1 and uh, let's say p is equal to 1 over m okay let, let me double check 1 over k is equal to m a is equal to 1 minus mp that's equal to 1 okay so let's take this term a is equal to a times 1 minus mp is equal to if p is equal to 0 this is 1 ok if this is 1 1 plus bp is equal to 1 ok let's uh, let's 
make this one zero let let uh, let's say let p is equal to 1 over m and substitute this in this one this is going to become 1 over m 1 is equal to a times 0 because if p is equal to 1 over m then 1 over m times m, m that's going to be just 1 so we will get a times 0 that's going to be this and the other one is going to be plus b times instead of p we put 1 over m that's equal to whole thing is equal to 1 if from this one we can solve for b b is going to be equal to uh, b over m is equal to 1 therefore b is equal to m okay now these are the two things we derived now what we have to do is we have to substitute in this equation we, this is our partial fraction equation instead of a over p, p we are going to put 1 over p and instead of b over 1 minus mp we are going to put m over 1 minus mp now the whole thing is equal to integration of r dt now we have to integrate this one as well this one with respect to p dp the whole thing with respect to p and the other side integration with respect to r dt okay let me get rid of these things because we need some space okay let's get rid of all these things <clears throat> now from this one you can see that if you integrate 1 over p that's going to be ln of p ln of p and if you integrate this m over 1 minus mp that's going to be ln of 1 minus mp that's equal to if you integrate r you will get rt and both side we have to have a constant but uh, we can combine both constant together and write it as a common constant right like this rt plus constant now to get rid of this this uh, ln we have to take e power both side e power this e power this and uh, <coughs> e power and ln cancels each other so this is going to be hmm, here before i do that i i should have written in a better way okay let's get rid of this e power right now so ln p minus this one when we have ln subtracting each other it's equal to division so we can write this one as ln of p over 1 minus mp and that's equal to rt plus uh, constant now we are going to take e power both side e power this side and e power this side and if you take e power e and ln cancels each other so this is going to be p over 1 minus mp that's equal to e power rt times e power constant okay let's continue here so e power c is a constant altogether we can write it as another constant so let's call this one c let let e power c is equal to c so if we do that this is going to be <coughs> p over 1 minus mp is equal to c e power rt now finally we have to derive this one right this is our purpose this is the one we are trying to derive p over 1 minus mp is equal to c e power rt so here we have to do some rearrangement in terms of p to derive this one so let's do the rearrangement p is equal to 1 minus mp times c e power rt but we still no, don't have this one here we have to have k we don't have the k right here so we derived uh, this one now let's multiply this e power r c e power r t for both if we do that let's uh, get rid of this one this whole thing and i'm going to continue right here okay so let's multiply this this uh, c e power rt for both if you do that this is going to be p is equal to c e power rt minus m p c e power rt and uh, okay now we have done the multiplication now here we can take anything do can we take anything common okay uh, let's leave it like this let's move this 
m p c e power r t to this side p plus m p c e power r t that's equal to c e power r t okay now we can take p common if we take p common this is going to be 1 plus m c e power r t in the other side we have c e power r t we are almost reaching this pattern now we can say p is equal to c e power r t divided by 1 plus m c e power r t here you can see we have to have e power negative r t it means we can divide the top and bottom by all together c e power if we divide uh, the bottom and top mm. <clears throat> okay c e power r t and we need a k to get a k we can say 1 over m is equal to k okay let's uh, let's replace this 1 plus m k r t m c k r t and from i think we did it pre previously we did it somewhere here 1 over k no okay here i'm going to write uh, this one in terms of k so instead of a m i'm going to say m is equal to 1 over k I, we did it previously i guess p is equal to c e power r t over 1 plus c over k e power r t instead of m m is equal to 1 over k okay 1 over k so that's how this one derived <coughs> now what we are going to do is we are going to m is equal to 1 over k so to get rid of this k here we, we need the k in the numerator so we can multiply everything by k if we multiply everything by k this is going to be k c e power r t over k plus c e power r t now you can see here we have to have here we have to have k in the numerator and uh, in the denominator we have to have 1 plus n e power negative rt so to get this one what we can do is we can divide everything by uh, divide everything by c e power rt if we divide everything by c e power rt this is going to become let's get rid of this one Okay, let's write it right here. If we divide everything by c e power r t, this is going to be k over k k over c k over c, and uh, e power r t in the denominators that's going to become e power negative r t. If we write like this, and if I divide this one by c e power r t, that's going to be just one. Here you can see we need to have n e power negative r t. So here what we are going to do is let's say k over c is equal to n. So this will become k over 1 plus n e power negative rt. So we derive this one. And that's whole thing is equal to p. And that's the derivation. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And if you are trying to learn differential equations, there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. I hope you guys watch that too. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.